Yeah, man. Right. Shorty, man. Introduce yourself. Let everybody know where they can find you. Yes, what's good, world? This your girl, Nefertiti, a.k.a. Nephi Raps. Right. Find me everywhere, y'all, at Nephi Raps, N-E-F-F-Y Raps website, nephiraps.com. Yeah. Now, who do you have with you? Who this says? little this little <laughs> thing is my nephew. He hanging out with Auntie today. I got yeah. Auntie Beauty. So. Aww, that's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So let's get right to it. Let's jump. Right. Yes. Oh. Yes. Because I'm telling you, like, yo, you have, like I said before before we started back up, yo, you are dope. Thank you. Dope. You are dope as shit. And what I love about you is you hold your ground. You hold who you are. You're not trying to get in the mix with these rest of these industry rappers. We don't fold. Right. You feel me? You're not trying to show your titty. And you just, you you real. You hold who you are. And you talking some real shit on these songs. Like, I haven't heard one song where I'm like, no, thank you. I'm listening to that shit all through. Like, that shit is dope. Like, I really love, like, for real, for real, like, you like uh, out of Baltimore, you the best rapper, female rapper that I heard that got hella bars. Right. Hey, that's like lovely. that's really bar- and that's and that really sound hip hop. You feel right. me? Like really sound like that old school hip hop, like remind me like of a Queen Latifah type. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, like that yeah, shit is dope. Yeah, like, that shit is like, dope. Like, new wave Queen yeah. Can we wrap up the fact that she's a female? Yeah. Right. 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 You know, that's yeah. like not that that's old female artist anymore. Yeah. It's so hard in the industry. And that's, that gives me to my first question. Like, how is it being in a male dominant industry? Like, are you fighting a lot for your respect? Right. Or it's like, have you had people say, you know, we'll sign you, but you got to change your look up. You got to do this. You got to do that. And if you did, mm-hmm. would you do it? Well, that hasn't happened as far as the me having to change my look thing, but it does come with challenges. Okay. Hands down. I mean, especially being attractive, like a lot of people will offer you things in exchange for things you're not willing to do. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So I run into that all the time. Right. And it's like, um, you know, to really make it and have respect, you just got to stay true and not fold because you could do something for somebody that claims they can do something for you, mm-hmm. but then it come around and the business and the pledge is mixed up and then everything's messed up. Right. You know, so I was kind of disappointed. Like Rick Ross recently made comments, but what he said is real. Like we really be going through that out here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you're, um, you're with someone pretty major. How'd you get with Chris Gotti? Yeah, man. It's still crazy to me. Shout out Chris Gotti, Adventures Music. Shout out Herb Gotti, the whole family. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, they came in town, um, for part of their tour and, um, one of my homeboys, his name is Jamal. He, he runs another station around here. He's like, yo, we haven't gotten in the studio. I couldn't make the studio that night. So I missed him, Mm -hmm. but niggas called me after he left. It was like, yo, Nephi Gotti was talking about you at the station. I was like, you lying. (laughs) You weren't talking about me. Right. But yeah, that, that's what they said. So he was he was at like DBL Lounge or something the next day. And I was like, all right, let me go holler at him. Let me go see what's up. Um, so that night, they told me about the showcase they were having. They right. told me come out. That was at El Dorado's, right? El Dorado's. Yeah. Came out to the showcase. And it was like a competition. So whoever won was getting like distribution through him. Mm-hmm. Um, so of course, I was amongst one of the people that won. And afterwards, he was like, let's go to the studio. Mind you, I had to work the next morning at 7 in the morning. Right. Spent all night in we the studio. We know all about that. Said, yeah, we, we know all about that. that. <laughs> had to go to work. I still got a job, y'all. Right. Right. I still got money. bills to pay. Right? Money. Get your money. <laughs> <laughs> but in the studio all night, it was like 15 niggas in the studio. And he was like, I'm choosing the top three. So all niggas, of course, I'm always the only female. Mm-hmm. And I made the cut. I That's made right, the cut man. Shout out to the ladies. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, so now that you, you bust him, we'll see. I'm going to tell you how I got hip to Nephi, right? I got hip to <laughs> Nephi and I, out of uh, um, the Baltimore, the city paper, the B, whatever that is. I seen her in there. I used to see her all the time, like, oh, who the fuck is this? Like, shorty popping. Then I loved the name. It was your name that captivated mm-hmm. me at first. And then, you know, I got the chance to meet the sister and everything. And it was just all love from the from the jump. Mm-hmm. All I can say is, man, you making beautiful strides, man. Mm-hmm. Keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And, you know, we represent every, everything we do, we represent. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And we right. got you. So it's nothing, man. So mm-hmm. now that you fucking with Gotti and all that mm-hmm. shit, have you accumulated any, like, hate mail or any <laughs> anybody else competition trying to grab you? Like, yeah. what's popping? Um, not outwardly, but mm-hmm. it's it's really been a lot of love. That's like, right. People are like happy for me, and yeah. you know it's really been surreal. And he's like 
a great dude. He's like a real nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He ain't into no BS. He's all about the business. He's all about supporting artists, um, teaching artists. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not just giving you the platform or the opportunity. He's also teaching you along the way. So right. I really oh, shout out to man, Chris Gotti, man. man. Yes, For real. Yes. So the, I know that you guys created the process song. Is that the yeah. song that came about from that studio session? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I seen EJ on there, man. Shout my man, EJ. shout out my He's man to EJ. Come tonight. Shout out EJ. Shout out T Zander. Mm -hmm. We were the three that made the cut. Man, that's, that's crazy, man. That's and y'all cool. can look, y'all can check that process song out. Go out on YouTube. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Type in that process, Advent Music, whatever you gotta do. Find a find a video, push the like button, and subscribe. You feel yes, me? it's everywhere online. Process. Yeah. So this goddess returns here. She brought us this year. Like we got gifts. We got gifts out here. She she she, she brought gifts. Like this gifts. is, this is minute, everything. Other guests take notes. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> like don't come through here without without no goddess merchandise. Right. Right. But the god is like, tell us more about this project. Like when did this drive? When is it going? You know, tell us more about this. Um this joint actually dropped last summer this okay. is my mixtape goddess returns and it was a themed mixtape classic mixtape um off of all classic female rap records that's dope that's that's really cool. um so classic kim record classic brat record um rod digger you mc Knight, kim record too. Um, mm. yo that fucking kim yo <laughs> listen that queen that. bitch freestyle yeah, yo, first of all, that queen. Yeah. First off, we used it on the promo. Right, yeah. 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 Get you it's crazy, yeah. And I'm gonna just tell crazy. you, man, niggas yeah. love that shit, man. And yeah. obviously, but you going hard and shit yeah. on the beat, like yeah. it's hard, like when you hear people do covers, mm -hmm. and that's not really coming as hard as the original artist. Right. But she was like. If I had to choose which one to play, I, I would she play went, yours. She went harder. I would play right. Yeah, yeah really? she like Shout out to Kim, like no, no, no shade to no Kim, shade. but still. <laughs> Shout out Kim. But what's crazy is I saved that record for last because I was like, I have to do this justice. Like that's this right. is Lil' Kim. Yeah, that's right. 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 And she killed it. Yes, right. she did. Yeah. So I'm like, I have to do this justice. So you know, I was like, I gotta kill it. Right. I right, right. And I also one thing I love about you too is your all your like um cover art and like even we use one of the pictures like when you like, like, right. like a Buddha. Oh my god, like all that stuff. Tell us like, about that experience. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, like how do you come up with like this yeah. marketing? Like who do you have on your team? Because they're a bomb. <laughs> really, all the um like marketing ideas as far as the theme, the whole queen, all that's me. Like, that's, that's crazy. Right. Shout out to Queen That's Matthew, what I want to hear. I want to hear, like, is she the one that did this or she got somebody that's, like, right, pushing, yeah. like, we going to push it queen. But I'm like, oh, please tell me she the one that did I this mean, shit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah it's so shit. dope. Yeah. It's so like when you say hit. queen, goddess. Y'all yeah, got to like, get known to this. I didn't been on to this. So we're on the next shit. Well, then, I'm on the next shit. I got that. I honestly, to be honest, Philly, the one that put me on to you. Right. I really didn't know who you was, but he's the one that put me on to right. you. He put me on. Tough. I've been on. Yeah. Yeah. I've been on. Tough. Definitely is a So, all you role. female rappers out there, step your fucking game step up. Because the bar yeah. is fucking high. Right. And Shorty Do Up ain't playing, man. <laughs> like, I keep calling yeah, all this. <laughs> I'm short as shit. I'm like five feet pimping. But now, like, really, all this stuff is, is my, you know. Just coming from my ideas where about you, my brand. Where do you draw inspiration from it all? Like the the image, the names. Mm. Like where does that come from? Because you got a unique style. Just yes. the way you dress, yes. like you have a really dope, authentic style. Mm -hmm. Um, I always been inspired by the thought that um, like like I named myself after Queen Nefertiti, and when mm. she reigned, like she introduced people to like a whole new way of thinking, being, and kind. Of, I want to kind of apply that to my music. Mm. Um. But I also re not necessarily relate, but I'm intrigued by that time period because women were powerful. Mm. Right. Women were bosses. Mm. Yeah. Women ruled whole dynasties. That's mm. right, man. Um, make sure y'all so, that's that right. make sure y'all sister, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just like intrigued by that. You yeah. know what I mean? So I kind of try to follow that dynamic with my music. And you like a representative, like if, if my daughter was had a, if I could choose a female artist for her to listen to, it definitely would be it. Oh, I appreciate that. Like, I'm appreciate just saying, like, really, because it's like, I would want my daughter to be looking at a woman that is talking about, you know, royalty, you know, ha holding yourself up at an all-time high, right. having respect for yourself. You don't have, I've never seen any pictures of you or even our artists that you just out. You, know, you still look good. You know, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it. Don't get it fucked up. I say like she's curvy and she definitely she definitely be looking good. But I don't see her like just fully skinned. You know, you don't want to see full titties and full ass. Right? Yeah, like little bit, but hanging out and all that. Like no, you just it's respectful and it's just like 
it's just so it's it's just it's just fucking amazing it's, to it's see an artist like that. You know, the, Queen the Latifah. Hip hop. Right. Female hip hop. It was about lyrics. It was about right. Being MC Light. Right? Like all those you crazy know. ass. So women enough, artists, you know, So so who are some of your the people you looked up to in the beginning of your rap career? Who are some of the people you looked up to? Um, Believe it or not, Laura Hill was big. A lot of people yeah, don't nice. give her credit for being yeah. an MC, but she had. Uh, she was yeah. dope. She was one of the dopest yeah, female was, MCs. Uh, Fuck female she MCs. Had, she was uh, one of the dopest yeah, MCs. Yeah, um, I was an Eve fan, still an Eve fan, I even though me. she faded yes. to the back on me. She got um, a, mil- a billionaire now. Yeah, she like she like look. I ain't got right no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, definitely Queen Latifah, like Kim, literally all of them. Like you know, they all inspire me. Um, Nas, I was a big Nas fan. Yeah. Nice. Still to this day, like yeah. nasty I think Nas it was, was written like, was the my favorite album of Nas. It mm-hmm. was written ninety six. You know yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, and Stillmatic was dope Stillmatic too. But was yeah, dope. Stillmatic was Stillmatic definitely Illmatic. Illmatic. Yeah, Illmatic. Illmatic, was, Illmatic, was, Illmatic, was, Illmatic, was, Illmatic was my shit. I'm Illmatic. sorry, I like oh, Illmatic. Hip-hop. Y'all in the hip-hop fine, heads. In the yeah, fine, the yo, in the fine period was the yeah, shit. Was I'm sorry. Yeah, that did not get God where it should have been. It didn't. Good. Yeah, it didn't. No. Like they were supposed to, the firm was supposed to go far. It yeah. did not go where it was supposed to be. I'm sorry. Yeah. So what we got next for Nuffy, man? What's next? Man, I'm still on this tour with Against All Odds. The next date should be the New York location. Okay. Um, I'm on the Mayor's Youth, youth Block Party Tour. The next date for that is on the 8th. Mm-hmm. Huh? Um... I need to pull out my calendar for the Go ahead, pull your calendar. Follow me. Follow me everywhere. I'm going to definitely keep y'all posted on that. But that's this Tuesday. Um, my Wave single and video <gasps> will be out before the end Liddy. of this month. So I'm so excited for that's that. That's just Liddy. It's icy. Like, that's we, what's up. Shout out Iconic Visions. He did his thing on that. So I'm excited. I'm just working. Yeah. So I do have a question. Like, How do you feel about how like these artists these female artists are like beefing and stuff like that like how do you feel it's about crazy that? to me like if it was up to me i wouldn't beef with nobody mm-hmm. but right. sometimes have you ever had somebody come at you like a female right. artist not come a at female. you not you a female you probably a male males so, a male yes. believe it or not really but, you know, she probably right <laughs> <laughs> they um yeah i'm usually all love like i'm all love unless you give me a reason not to love you right. you know what i mean right. so but not really like all the females that i know in the city like it's a couple of them that i'm cool with i don't know if y'all know benny Hardin. shout out benny Hardin. no Who's what's up cool. shorty um plug benny i just plugged you both I'm about to follow. Yeah, like, you got an yeah, instagram, to... <laughs> you got an instagram? <laughs> yeah i got you what's, what is it um i think it's benny Hardin. benny Hardin. benny benny, benny Hardin. Right, she's mad cool um so I, I definitely gotta shout out the ones that like niggas come up there and shout they niggas you know what right, I mean? Yeah, like, right, yeah, right. You definitely represent the other female Like, other yeah. female rappers that are cool, it's all love. Like, I shout you out. Like, like we need to work together. That's how you really... Like, when, when Light and everybody was out, they did records together. Mm-hmm. Right. They did pictures right. together. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you know, and I, if I can be one of the female rappers in Baltimore to bring that together, then I'm willing to do that. But, you know, it takes everybody. Yeah. So what's your opinion though on like for instance the Remy and, the and Nicki Minaj? Situation? I was just about to say that. <laughs> like, are you team? I and Mafi, I really see you being team Remy. I'm sorry, I really did because I'm team Remy. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how? What's your opinion on it? Like, is Remy wrong? Because if somebody kept coming at me, I'm gonna come at you, but I'm gonna go even harder and just mm-hmm. destroy you. You feel me? So. <laughs> you can be honest. 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 You can be But um, Remy killed mm-hmm. Sheetha. Now, granted, I don't think that her delivery and flow was on point. Right? Yes. But content wise, yes. right? my feelings was hurt listening to that shit. Yeah. That's yeah. That shit was crazy. I think it had a lot of emotions. I think she it was did. really pissed off. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, no, you yeah, patty we not, Come we on, not, that's my husband. I'm sorry. Yo. If my wife was in a fight, I'm jumping in. <laughs> we're not I'm even, jumping all the way. We're not even going. We're not. I'm yeah, sorry. We can't do that. Ask the question. Okay. What hits did Papoose ever really have? It don't matter about it. Don't matter. He's, he's a fucking he's one of the lyrical, most lyrical artists ever. Pepe and he got black balls. Lyrical and the alphabet. You bet it. You bet it. You know what? He was on Buster Rhymes hit. He was on Buster Rhymes hit remix. That's what he was like. Come on, it don't matter. It don't matter. We're not going to talk about him. We're talking about lyrically. He's a lyrical artist. Yeah, he is. He's mean shit. He's mean shit. Did y'all see him do that alphabet shit? Yo, that was in forward, yo. Yo, this nigga wrote down A. 
B, C, and was like spitting lines to each letter in the alphabet. Who the fuck is doing it? So that's the problem. Lyrics are lyrics aren't getting the respect that they deserve. Do you really think he wrote Sheeta? It don't matter if he did or not. It's his wife. It don't matter. She can write though. She can rap. It don't matter. At the end of the day, fuck that. You know, I'm not about to say it. Right. I'm not about to sit here and judge, but you know me. I can go all the way in on Nicki Minaj from beginning to end, but at the end of the day, people are writing her shit too, so please stop. That's right. When was her last album? When she was fucking uh, Safari, so let's keep it moving. Fact, but but Nikki Underground, Nikki mixtape. Nikki. Yes. Exactly. And I'm gonna say like this: she, 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 she was come up, Nikki. That's straight. the Nikki I love. Yeah. Yeah. Come up, Nikki. She was hungry, yo. She was hungry. She probably now she's so, yo, she so pop tart, Charlie, and just wanna be out here doing yeah. every fucking. Thing. But we not gonna we not gonna hate. Shout out to y'all. It's, yeah. it's all about nothing. I'm not right hating. Here. I'm just. No, not saying you hating, baby. I'm not saying they are gonna say we hating, but we not. We not fucking hating. We keep it real. like a whole stripper. Whole stripper. Right. Keep but, it moving. But on that same <laughs> like, note, do you find like absolutely not? Absolutely not. You said we kind of hate. I used to be. I used to be a Nicki fan. I used to be a Nicki fan. I I really did. I still Friday respect. Was hard. I'm I still sorry, respect monster, her. It like, was, I said whole, I used to be yeah. a Nicki fan. But what's the like her whole grind? Like I, Nikki makes bread. Like yeah, yeah. no yeah, matter what music she puts out. I respect her for being a businesswoman because that's what I am first. Like I get into the situation like. You know, I gotta handle myself a certain way. I gotta handle the business. I gotta make money. I gotta build my brand, and she does that, and she does it extremely well. So shout out to Nikki for that. But she's not my favorite right. female rapper. Yeah, but I still respect her grind. I feel like I just say it's not. It's so mm-hmm. much just money, 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 pushing, 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 numbers, numbers, numbers. When but at the end the of the day, it's not too. right. That's what it's about now. That's the business. That's why it. I respect people that look at lyrics. When you're looking right. at these artists that are lyricists, yeah. respect them. Like, that's what it's about. That's where this art came from, lyricists. Absolutely. Give them respect. Like, all that pet poos talk, all that shit. That's the same thing with Joe Button. Joe Button fucking ain't had no hits neither, but he's a lyricist. Even though he's an pump, asshole and I don't pump, like him, pump, he, he still is a lyricist. I gotta <laughs> give him that respect. He's yeah. a lyricist. So it's like, come on. Hey, Jay, respect. what's up, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> she sleep, yo. Jay, she sleep. Everything. Pump, 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 pump it up. That first album was Oh, lit. I'm all the way wrong. I'm all the way wrong. So you're telling me that Joe Button is not a lyricist? No, he's a lyricist. We didn't say That's that. what I'm saying. He's a lyricist. He's not. not right, and that's the same thing with Pat Poos. He didn't have a successful career, but he's a fucking lyricist. But Give that man props. Why y'all keep just pushing just money, 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 artists and artists? Like, come but on, man. But Joe Budden, no Joe Budden's an asshole. He yeah. is. That's why I said I don't like him. I don't like Joe Budden, but I'm still giving him respect that he's a lyricist. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't like Joe Button at all, but I'm still gonna give him respect when it's due. He's a lyricist. Yes, he but does, does it bother you how they're always <laughs> trying to say though that no female artist writes? The, it seems like every female artist they're like she don't write her shit. No, so but come on, but this, nephew nephew write that, that shit. Doesn't get on but, yo, my that's that double standard shit, yo. When women don't get the respect, that's 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 Kim did Diddy. 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 First of all, Diddy. even the shit that it's people funny. do write for him is whack. Come on, man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, Diddy is not. Like, come on, yeah. man. Rick Ross wrote yeah. a lot of Trina early shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, do you ever feel like people think, like, you don't really write your shit? Like, how? But she gives so much uh, yeah. facts that she did. Like, right. Because we're definitely about to have her freestyle, so y'all get the oh, fuck right. ready. Oh, she's about to be about to be. No, we been at the time. No, people never ask me if somebody writes for me. They ask if they can like do a course or something for me. But okay. from this point, I've not I haven't well, really collaborated with people. You right. they say, write for you. And, and then they, they wind up writing the whole shit. You bite. Then they like write And every time I'll be like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so can we expect you signing any artists to your label if you, you know what I mean, decide to got if you ain't already got one, like if I go that way, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, because you know. there's a whole bunch of young females out here popping, man, mm-hmm. for real, that need the opportunity, that mm-hmm. need that queen status to look up to mm-hmm. so they can be those queens. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everything comes in full circle. So mm-hmm. we had the trap, the fun. Don't get me wrong. I turned up. OK, <sighs> like it's not like, you know, I don't I don't do that. But I just feel like music, fashion, everything comes full circle. So, you know, we had that period. It's going to flip. That's right. Right. And I'm guess who's going to be on the way when Definitely. it flip? No question. Yeah, I'm on the way. Yeah, no question. Yeah, How'd you come up with that on a wave joint? Tell me about that. Oh, damn. That's a good question. I don't even that? remember how I came up with that concept. Oh. I was probably smoking something. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Bring the <laughs> weed, though. <laughs> um, but I just felt like I just felt in my career, in my personal life, 
you know, everything was kind of wavy. Like, I'm just feeling good about the moves I'm making and, right. you know, the, the things I'm accomplishing. And I just felt like I was on a wave. That's you know? right, man. And yeah. then I just ran with it. Do you have anything else that you want to get into other than music, like acting? Well, I have been fashion. acting, actually. Oh, Thanks for that. that. Um, I actually just went to the Cultivated Mentality 2 premiere last I saw night. you there. I okay. saw you. That Were you lit. there? No, I saw oh, okay. it on Instagram. Shout out to, you know what I mean? Shout out. It was a Chocolate City Radio. Like, yes. They, they put me deep with it. Yeah, shout out to um, Amar Ra Darby. He's dope. So that was my first time acting, and it actually went really well. Like, I saw myself on screen. I was like, I can do Where this. can we see so, that at? Because I've been looking right, for it. Right, because I've never even... The first one is on YouTube, saw and that. it did really well. It has, Still. like, 200K views. Mm -hmm. Um, so the second one, I don't know when it'll be available, but as soon as it is, you know I'll share the link. What you playing like a drug dealer and shit? Like you got guns? <laughs> I play you myself, which is crazy. Yeah, like um, I got a, a scene in the studio with Dookie Man. Shout out Dookie Man. Shout out Dookie. Um, Where you at, Dookie Man? <laughs> <laughs> no, he the hit maker. <laughs> and um, yeah, I got another scene with Big Yo. So okay, that's yeah, what's up. it was dope. That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, man. Listen, we want you to bring more and more and more to the show. We love to have you again for mm -hmm. real, man. But you know what I mean? Just keep pushing and tell us what you got going. We're going to rock with you into the radio. Fuck with you, man. Ain't no Thank question. You. Yeah. So we about to get into this freestyle. I'm sorry. You want to beat? Yeah. Take yeah. me a beat. Yeah. 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 Beat. So you can do anything. I need a quick 16. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Some hot shit. What's up, Chad? You got that look in your face like. Well, ain't nobody got no pens or papers. Right, she going to do it. Like, not the last time, the time before the last that we put somebody on the spot. Mm -hmm. It was a, um, <laughs> it was an epic, do, do, it, it do. was an oh, epic fail. So wait, not this time. Her. She ain't yeah, epic, yeah. I know her. She was litty. She, she got bras for days, man. Give us something, man. I just give you a few bars. I can yell. Man, fuck oh, it something. up for him, man. Let's do something like classic hip hop. Like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. yeah. Some Nas. Some Nas. Nas. You want some Nas beats? Nas no, beats. Nas. 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 Man, just fuck it up, man. Like I say, man, y'all can tune into us every Friday, 7 and 9 p.m. And in tune radio. And tell them where they can uh, yeah. teach you real quick before you start. Everywhere at Nephi Raps, y'all. N E F N Y Raps. Check me out, nephiraps.com. Let's go. Yeah. Fuck it up, man. Okay, this is hip hop shit. Fuck it up, man. Got that thing, I jot through things, switch up like mood rings, chameleon, I'm on phase 10 sky cloud, spark it up like a sense is telling me it's loud, the fake's not allowed, only realists, what you think of me nigga, I could really care less, the gist of the power of the cookie consists of, a deadly sweet elixir that I like to call crit love, uh, cause I'm the shit love, you ain't gotta tell me, I keep that thing juicy like Dutch's grape jelly, you ain't gotta sell me, I already been sold, I was told my pretty pee, put a hold on them, this claimer in clothes, yeah. pursue the cost, you'll get lost in it, fall in it, Nefertiti boss got you glossed all in it, put me in the competition, I'ma always win it, my piece of power full, she running for center. Yeah, that was Nefertiti, baby, I told you she was ready, in tune, baby, I told you she was yeah. ready, man, I told you, man, you niggas better get in tune with her, man, fuck with her. In tune yeah. with it, man. Let everybody know again where they can find where can you. They find where can you they get that Yo, man? everywhere, Nephi Raps, N E F F Y Raps. Hit me up, y'all. I follow back. I I answer y'all's DMs unless y'all on some shit. Oh, some dick. Um, no dicks in the DM, bitch. Yeah, follow me everywhere, y'all. Nephi Raps.com. Let's go. Yeah, Keep up with me. It's all love. Once again, man, we want to thank Nephi Raps for coming yeah. through the building. Shout out Advent Music, man. It's it too ready, it's yo. Let's music, go. Man. Let's get it poppin', man. Shout out my man Chris Gotti, man. It's in tune. Tune in. Let's go. Much love. Oh, yeah. Flick it out. Thank Flick you. it out.